it has been quite some time that we have posted any videos but your comments kept us going and here we are with another video we have our solar inverters which are fed with some extra solar panels so the set capacity of inverter is always fed with extra solar panels let's see why we do that hi this is shiva from evolve india why do we oversize solar power plants is the topic for this video and here we'll be seeing percentage of oversizing that we do on an inverter and why do we do that so we want our solar inverters to touch its nominal power and work at its fullest energy we want the inverters to work for the maximum time on its fullest energy possible that's why we do oversizing on the dc side there are also other reasons why we do that one can be the uh, site or the location is not having so much of irradiation there are places on earth which is having irradiation as much as 2000 watts per meter square but there are also places on earth which is having irradiations as low as 400 watts per meter square so now for you to achieve a said power output you will have to put enough solar panels to grab the solar energy and convert it into a usable energy so reason number one can be you are not having much light in that location reason number two maybe the temperature is more temperature can cause the solar panel to decrease its efficiency higher the temperature the solar panel will decrease its efficiency lower the performance so when you have a solar plant and if you have higher temperatures in that region then you have to put some extra panels to compensate the loss that is happening on the decrease in the generation so that has to be a point there reason number three you might have different orientations on your roof this is on uh, rooftop installations where you may not get a optimal uh, size or uh, side for installation in india south is the best orientation you can have for your solar panels but maybe it's not always south we are installing the plants so this can also be one reason because if you're not going to install it on the south you have to compromise on the irradiation falling on the panel so you when you install it on the north for example you can have a little bit of extra solar panels and one more reason can be considering the degradation that is going to happen in your solar panels when you compare it as one big solar plant degradation can happen on the panel side as well and also on the cable side so it is calculated that every year degradation can be up to 1 to 1.5 percentage in some cases it can also go to 2 percentage so in order to compensate this loss that is happening every year you can always have some extra solar panels on the dc side to boost the performance or to handle the performance and make the performance stable in the same line so these are some reasons why we oversize the dc side of a solar power plant what if you don't oversize your plant then the simple answer will be your performance will start degrading you will not get the expected performance or you will not be fully utilizing the inverter capacity so all these things can happen if you don't oversize your plant can we do this oversizing on the inverter yes we can and here is a technical reason the solar plant or the electronics the system is in this way that it is the inverter which is pulling power from the solar panel and it is never the solar panel which is pushing the power into the inverter so the inverter whatever power it wants to have or whatever power it can process it is only pulling so much power it will only pull the required power from the solar panel and it will never overload itself so this is one technical reason so you don't really have to be afraid of the inverter being oversized too much reason number two as an inverter manufacturer we are going to manufacture the same inverter for all the countries there are countries or like i said there are sites which can have higher irradiation or higher temperature but there can also be sites which can have lower irradiation and uh, a higher temperature or a lower temperature so this this is variant so there is no different inverter for different countries or no different inverter for different situations it's all the same inverter coming out of the manufacturer so you 
can actually oversize the inverter but you will definitely have to be inside the boundary limits of the inverter if the inverter says feed me with only 40 amps in my mppt then you feed only 40 amps into that mppt you cannot give a third string into the inverter and feed it with more current or if the inverter says feed me with only 1000 volts per MPPT then you can only feed 1000 volts into the inverter you cannot feed more voltage into the inverter that is a wrong way of oversizing you definitely have to be inside the safety limits or what is told in the data sheet of the inverter so by doing this way you can simply oversize any inverter to the maximum possible point because I'm repeating this point again it is the inverter which is pulling the power from the solar panel and it is never the solar panel which is pushing power into the inverter so you can happily and comfortably oversize your solar inverter by calculating how much is going to be the loss in the system and to compromise it you can give a higher capacity of solar panels on the inverter my personal feeling is that oversizing is the key to technical and economical optimization of a PV plant. Do comment on this video. Tell us what are all the topics you would like to discuss on videos or what kind of videos you want us to make and we will be happy to make it for you. Thank you.